Good morning. Welcome to Desert Rose and Sage. This is our first tour of the secret garden for spring of 2022. We are in April 2022. If you have been following me from the beginning, do you remember how this was a graveled driveway with no fence? No plants, no pergolas. <laughs> Look at that rose, guys. So I, I, had, I came out here this morning and went, oh, I really have to get it cleaned up back here because look, the rose is blooming. And I actually love it hanging down like this. Hubby's nervous about it touching the roof over here. So I'll be cutting it back later. But right now I'm going to enjoy the blooms. So this is going to be a video on um, YouTube. I've learned over the years that YouTube uh, is better to have the longer videos and tell you what's going on and what's growing. And then on Instagram and Facebook, the quicker videos. So welcome, guys. I'm so excited to have this season, this growing season. It looks so good back here. Now, I'm just starting to put it all back together. This is not permanent. This is just, I'm going to be doing a photo shoot for my natural products. And I think that spot's going to be really good. We'll see. I don't know. Diane is trying to find lots of things to get into. So very excited. <laughs> Take a look. The ivy. Remember when it was this big? And now look at it. In fact, it's much larger. I need to pull all the loose pieces out from behind the fence there and go ahead and start bringing it back and forth. The rose has grown up over here. So this is two rose bushes that I put in about, how long has it been guys? I think four years. And then you can see the lilac bush is getting ready to bloom. We've got little buds on it. Everything back here looks so good and so healthy. It's It wintered really well. <laughs> here we go. I don't know if this lemongrass down here that's dead will come back. I've got to get things put back up. The aspen trees look good. Look, we've got some buds on the aspen trees. Now, they mostly, you know, leaf up high and we can't see them because of our beautiful rose and of course the rose only blooms once a year this one does which is disappointing but it sure is gorgeous when it blooms and I did neglect this this winter I didn't take very good care of it but it's such a protected space that it all did really well okay Jack Jack is chewing on a bone but he's also got a leaf. Yeah, we don't want you to chew on the leaf. <sighs> Puppies. They are like babies. <laughs> They're just a little easier than babies. And uh, everything's looking pretty good here. I'll be putting stuff in pots soon. I need to cut back that little bit of lemon balm. I don't think whatever I put in down here, I can't remember. Oh, it was lemon verbena. That's right. It doesn't look like it's going to come back at all. Diane, that's not for chewing on. No, it's not. She likes to chew on things. No, not for chewing. Good girl. <laughs> so there you go. It's pretty quick because it's a small space and I still have things to put together out here, put in pots. I have the fountain and the bird bath to come out here and bird feeders. I'm a little slow and I'm going to have to get the weight of the um, rows off of the hanging lights up here. And then I need to repair the clothesline. It broke, so I've got to put a new one in because I do love to air dry my clothes out here in the summer. I've got to get the chair back up. Oh, there's, it's just so pretty though. I did not show you how many leaves were on the ground. <laughs> I did sweep that up before I came out, but it's still a bit of a mess, but that's how it is. 
and it has come a long, long way. I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to film. I still don't, but I'm getting better at it. It was hard to film because of the way the light was so harsh, but now we have nice cover, and so it films easier, and um, everything's grown really well. Let's see. Oh, I think we can take a peek of the aspen trees through here. Look at that. See? We got green leaves up there. I need to come out here and water. And I'm so happy to have my little happy space back. And this is my, this spot and the desert uh, cottage garden out front are my proudest moments because they were the hardest spaces. They were the stuff that had the worst ground and, and the worst foundation to work with because they'd been poisoned uh, for weed kill. Uh, for a long time, so it took me some years to get things to be lush and healthy and uh, without any of the bad chemicals, just natural um, natural fertilizers and compost. And what really did the best here was the alfalfa, the alfalfa hay did the best for everything. And then, as you can see, there's leaves all over in the beds. I leave them alone because it helps the ecology uh, for animals, worms, bugs. And then it composts and feeds the trees and the plants. So I leave it in the beds. The gravel is still messy, but I got most of it off the gravel. All right, guys. Jack and Diane and I say have a great one. See you next month in the secret garden.